Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take another look at the Ogress here and look at the at least one of the best ways I've found to set it up. If I'm honest, this is a weapon I kind of abandoned. Um, as you can see, it only does blast damage. The accuracy is 100, though if you put in the heavy strike, heavy caliber even, that pretty much goes to zero. It's actually three points something. It's ridiculous how much you lose. Uh, fire rate is definitely needed for this. The magazine goes up with the, the mods I put in anyway, and it actually works out to be a pretty decent weapon from what it is here. As you can tell with the numbers here that have now changed, it's now 5,000 damage. Oh wow, that's so nice. The fire rate hasn't changed, though it has. It's actually got two fire rate mods in it. And the magazine went up one. Now if we go to upgrade, you see how we went around doing this. We have the two fire rate mods in. The punch through actually works against this weapon because sometimes you'll shoot a rocket and it'll just disappear through a wall. That's because it's gone through the wall into the next room. So it kind of misses. It's not that often it does it, but it does it just enough. And then we we'll obviously max the speed trigger. Firestorm is definitely needed because it increases the, the blast radius when it hits the floor. Then we have uh, fire damage with more fire damage. That's where the extra bullet comes from in the clip. Mix that up with the cryo here. That's how we got the blast to go up. Fire and ice. If we added another element it would be two different elements on here. But at the minute it's just fire and ice which creates the blast. The reload was put in here because I was actually in the middle of doing this and obviously we've got the maxeration. Now it's the main reason this has so much damage is basically this combination here which is fire and ice which is what leads to the blast damage. Take them out that damage goes down a hell of a lot. So them in there does help. Uh, if you're going to format this another time because this has been done three times as you can see over here, I would probably recommend a, a V polarity for it because if you put multi shot in this, it becomes insane. If we find it and put this in here, the damage instantly over 10,000. It literally doubled the damage because a lot of the times this thing will fire two rockets at once. That is the way we were heading to set this up. But to be honest, I ran out of formas and got on with other weapons, so the multi-shot works really, really well in here. And I cannot remember where that uh, fire rate mod is. But the fire rate is still technically needed, and this thing can go in there. But I'll quickly put a clip in of trying to shoot it towards this is somebody's head, and these shots missed a hell of a lot, and... This was just with this mod in, and a minus 45% accuracy, and it went down to 0 point something accuracy, and it was ridiculous. At points it was actually doing 90 degree turns. <laughs> okay, so the charge rate on this with them mods in is really nice. The splash damage is basically the whole inside of that. That's a level 25 ancient, and he's dead in one shot. I love this weapon. I actually think I'll go back and finish this off. Um, all I'm going to do is add one more V polarity and that's it done. And that might be for multi-shot. We'll see. But it does a really nice amount of damage. And yes, the Penta is better for setting traps, but this thing is much better for long distance. So for survival missions, I think I'll take the Penta in, but the rest of the time I think I'm going to take this with us. So we'll leave that off here for now. As I say... It just comes down to personal choice as to which one you like better than the other. And it's just personally I prefer this, that's all. So, leave that off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.